Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me here at One Nation Weather in this forecast for America. I'm going to be covering the fall forecast preliminary version number one for 2023 in about five minutes. So let's go ahead and jump right in. It's July 13th, 2023 in the evening and we're talking about that forecast for the meteorological fall season for temperatures from, from the start of September to the end of November. So let's go ahead and hop right on in. First of all, I wanted to talk about El Nino's Southern Oscillation and quoting directly from climate.gov. We are entering a weak El Nino, the warm phase of the El Nino Southern Oscillation climate pattern continued across the tropical Pacific Ocean in, in July 2023. There's a 90% chance that the event will last through the Northern Hemisphere winter, but only a 20% chance that it will match the strength of the events of 1997 to 98, as well as 2015 and 2016, meaning that this is the likely scenario in a general state, what's on the top left side of your screen, but not necessarily an intense pattern of El Nino. Here's what it looks like for us here. The polar jet stream wedged up into most into Canada in general, so keeping things warmer than average in the northern tier of the country because that jet stream won't be diving on down. Dry into portions of the Ohio Valley and wet and cooler than average in the south just because we're going to be seeing more of that precipitation that will keep temperatures in check more. Again, according to the patterns, cooler air would spill into the Pacific Northwest and the Northwest along with wetter than average conditions with that those atmospheric rivers we get with La Nina like we saw last winter. Those cooler blasts can, can dive further south and east, but in general, wetter than average in the Ohio Valley, warm in the south and east, and dry in the south as well with La Nina. Now your CFS model, your September pre so I'm going to fly through these pretty quickly, and the reason for this is because there's really not many trends, but those areas I have, this spot right here might be a little wetter than average in September, this zone along the Carolina coast and into Florida might be a little drier, and the west coast might also be, say, a little bit drier for us here, but again, we're just not really looking at anything major out of this as I just flip back through. You can't see any major patterns. Wetter than average on the east coast, supposedly, according to some of these models as we go into October, drier back off towards the west, and really, drier conditions in the immediate west, that's going to be the trend, but we will see some precipitation at times in those zones as we go into November. Notice how that backs off in some models, but the main trend I want to show to you here is that while there are some areas that look similar, there's very erratic patterns going on as we go into the fall, which is why there's really not too much to look at on our precipitation forecast right now. This is an official ONW graphic for us here, and we're looking at, in general, minor deficits in portions of the Four Corners region, the Pacific Northwest, and then a minor, say, upgrade with some of that rainfall getting going into portions of the north central but notice not really looking at a whole lot of rain in the south if not anything if anything a little drier than normal even though we are entering that el nino where we should be cooler and wetter look at this heat in the southern part of the country that looks exactly like what we should not be seeing but nonetheless it is el nino we're just looking at a very weird setup as these models make it look right now notice how again most of the country being dominated by these orange and red colors meaning that we're going to see a good bit of that heat building in as we go all the way from September all the way on through October and then into November. So here's a look at your O&W exclusive fall temperature forecast. Not an area on this map has any blue to it, so we're not seeing anything even at or below normal for us. Most of the country just at a slight slight increase in their temperature from usual, but notice as you go into the western two-thirds, we're seeing a lot of these areas with warmer than average, and then look at this, I've got intense heat building in, at least compared to average into portions of Texas, Oklahoma, as well as Kansas, New Mexico, and Colorado, watching that zone for us here. So again, your green zone's going to be where I'm expecting the most storms to roll on through. This lighter red color is where it's just going to be, in general, a little bit above average. This is going to be where we're seeing that intense heat and then overlapping with that drier air expected to in general be in the west so thank you so much for watching this video go ahead and subscribe hit the like button and here are the credits don't worry i will be coming out with more of these preliminary fall outlooks within the next few weeks to a month